Here's how to make a rotation and zoom out transition on Premiere Pro. Start by creating an adjustment layer, so head over to your project tab, which is where you import all of your clips, right click anywhere where it's empty, new item, head over to adjustment layer and click OK. Now place this adjustment layer on top of your first clip and then extend it to match the duration of your clip. Search for the transform effect which is underneath distort and drag this effect onto the adjustment layer. Head into effect controls and scroll down. Keyframe the scale and also the rotation by clicking on the stopwatch. Also make sure that your playhead is at the very start of the adjustment layer. Change the scale value to 125 so click it 125 and the rotation to 3 so click it change it to 3 there you go head all the way to the end of your adjustment layer and reset this back to its original value so the scale should be 100 you can do this by clicking on the reset parameter button or manually typing 100 reset the rotation back to zero as well so click on the icon next we need to graph these so if you click on the tiny arrow next to the stopwatch for both the rotation and the scale a graph will come down so for the scale you'll see this and basically if you just select the last keyframe you want to drag this handle down here all the way to the left so just click drag all the way to the left until it locks into place and then push it up make sure it's leveled so not too high or too low make sure that the curve looks smooth so i'm just going to let go right here pay attention to this area so for example if it looks like this you've made a mistake and your scale won't look good you want to make sure that it's on level and the same applies if it's too high so if it looks like this it won't look good so keep that in mind and repeat this with the rotation so i'm going to open it up by clicking on the small arrow and then click my second keyframe drag this handle all the way to the left and ensure it's on level then let go that should be okay i'm also going to highlight these keyframes and click and drag them to push them back to the very end and let go if you want to add some motion blur so here's how it looks before and after with motion blur we can do is change the shutter angle down here all the way up to 360 which is the maximum so far this is what it looks like which is pretty good we're going to repeat this with our second clip however i think it's best if we apply all of our other effects so i'm going to add a blur effect and also a flash effect so i'm going to add it all onto this adjustment layer then duplicate it to my next clip and make any adjustments on that duplicated layer rather than remaking it from scratch. So for now, all you want to do is just collapse this. So click on the tiny arrow next to the effects box like that just makes it easier to work with and then head back into effects and search for Lumetri color. This one underneath color correction, add it onto your adjustment layer and head back into effect controls, scroll down, open up the basic correction, scroll down even further, make sure your playhead is at the start and keyframe the exposure set the amount to i think four is a bit too bright let's see how it looks anyway yeah that's way too much so two should be okay then i'm going to head all the way to the end of my clip so not in between the two clips but just to the end of the adjustment layer and set this amount to zero which is the original this time you want to right click on your last keyframe and select ease in now playing it back if you think it's a bit too slow and you want it to fade out quicker then you can open up the graph just like before and grab this handle for the second keyframe and pull it to the left as i said it's completely optional you don't have to but i'm just going to do this anyway just a bit and let go then i'm going to collapse this as well by clicking on the arrow next to it there you go now search for gaussian blur which is underneath blur and sharpen add this onto the adjustment layer once again head back into effect control scroll all the way down keyframe the blurriness at the start to 20 or if you want to go for a stronger blur effect go for something like 50 then by holding shift on your keyboard and using the arrow keys head 5 10 15 frames ahead maybe less or more depending on the duration of your clip and set the blurriness back to zero i'm just going to click on this icon again right click the last keyframe and select ease in this is what it looks like so far and it is pretty good but i'm going to make some minor adjustments so first of all i'm going to push this keyframe all the way back and then open up the graph and drag this handle a little bit more to the left maybe somewhere around here and let go now we're going to do the same thing with our next clip which is actually slightly longer so first of all hold alt on your keyboard and then click and drag your adjustment layer 
over the next clip. So this is the adjustment layer I'm now going to be working on. First of all, I'm going to open up the transform at the very top. Actually, we need to extend the adjustment layer first before making any changes. So I'm just going to click and drag the end bit and extend it just like that. Very simple. And then drag these final two keyframes for the transform all the way to the end. Now the changes that I'm going to make will be to the rotation. Instead of three, I'm going to go negative three. That's all you need to do. Just change the value and you're done. So I'm going to now collapse this once again. And finally also move this final keyframe for the blur to the end. So maybe around here. Collapse that as well. And let's take a look and see how it looks. This is the result and overall I'd say it looks very smooth. Thank you to my monthly supporters as always for their continued support. I will see you in the next video. Peace.